guys, today we're gonna do some chicken fried rice, keto style of course, and I wanted to make it simple, so I just grabbed some frozen riced cauliflower and I cooked it according to the directions on the bag, and this is how my rice looks. I also have already cooked up some chicken thighs to add in some extra fat, and I'm just using my same pan and coating with the avocado oil. And now I'm gonna start frying my rice. So. I added in a little bit more olive oil and some seasonings. I did some garlic powder in there, and you can really add in whatever seasonings you would like, but I also added in some salt and pepper, and then I am using the liquid aminos for my soy sauce alternative. The stuff is really good, and it does taste like soy sauce, and I just had a little bit in here, but I did put quite a bit more, guys, to give it the taste I was going for, so that's gonna be to your taste. I'm also going to scramble up two eggs so I can put into my mix. So here I am scrambling my eggs and I'm going to add it right into my mix with my cooked chicken thighs. As you can see, it's starting to take on shape and form here. So this was a big hit with my kids and my husband. They really enjoyed it. So stay tuned till the end of the video. I am going to show the macro breakdown, but this is how the dish came out. It was delicious and filling. And then I also served it with some sugar-free teriyaki sauce on the side by G Hughes. I love this stuff. So if you go into Carb Manager, you can make your own dish. So I'm gonna make this for you guys so you can see the breakdown. So I'm gonna do create a recipe and I'm going to name it. So I am going to put in there chicken, fried rice, and then I'm like, oops, I gotta put keto in. So I put in chicken fried keto rice and gonna save that so I'm going to show you right here you can up the servings to whatever you think your dish will make I could go up a little more because this dish did make quite a bit but I'm just gonna go on the safe side and think some people want some big portions so we're gonna do six servings and then I'm going to add in the prep time you can change this if you like, but when I thought about it, it did take about 20 minutes to prep and 20 minutes altogether, so I'm gonna leave it as is. So I already have the cauliflower stir fry mix in there, and I only used about 3 fourths of a cup because I was scared about how the breakdown was gonna be. And then I'm gonna search for the other bag, which was the Riced Green Giant cauliflower mix, and I can find that right there. And I'm adding in about two cups of that bag. I am needing to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it was about two cups. So I'm gonna add, also add in my chicken thighs, and I did about two cups of the cooked chicken thighs. They did not have skin on them, and I did cut, um, cut them into pieces. So I'm going to use the two cups of cut pieces of chicken thighs there. And next, I'm going to look for my liquid aminos, the brags, there it is right there. I'm going to add about a half a cup. I was just pouring and it kind of spills out drops, so about half a cup. And then I'm also doing a tablespoon of the avocado oil that I cooked, uh, I fried the rice in. Two eggs, and then I'm gonna give you the instructions. So we're gonna cook the rice according to the bag, and then we're going to cook the chicken thighs. If you already had these pre-cooked and cut, that would save you so much time. Um, the rice took absolutely no time to cook and then we're gonna get some scrambled eggs and you're just gonna mix everything together with that liquid aminos and your dish is gonna be done so simple and now when you want to get your serving size you click your recipe one serving is going to be 204 calories three net carbs which is awesome 10 grams of fat and 27 grams of protein hope you enjoy guys <laughs> 